And we're back. Hey, everybody. It's time for another distance learning uh, program with uh, Coach and Corey. I'm Coach. I'm Corey. Yeah, and this is the Coach and Corey Show. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today, Corey? Wonderful. That is great news. Uh, what, are you, what are you wearing today? You got a special shirt on? Captain America. Sure. Can you stand up? Ooh, living legend. Can you back up just a little bit so everybody can see? Ooh, that is a cool shirt. All right, looking good, Sorry, buddy. Mr. Mr. Daniel, we can't bring you hats. Can I drink some water in a while? Yeah, let's, let's drink some water. Remember from yesterday, we got to drink a lot of water in the morning, and that'll make us uh, feel good for the rest of the day. Good job, Corey. All right, we'll go ahead and get started while you're doing that. How was that water, Corey? Wonderful. That's good. Are you feeling more energized? Yes. Yeah? Makes you feel good? Yeah. All right, good. Uh, it is time for another uh, distance learning program with uh, the Coach and Corey show recorded live. I'm at the Dilworth Gymnasium. Corey's at home. Did you eat breakfast, Corey? No, I'm, I'm, I, w I really want. Why are I always really want corn dogs for breakfast? You're going to have one of them corn dogs, huh? With the sausage corn dogs? Hot dog, beef hot dog. Oh, a beef oh. hot dog. That's State I, fair. Hmm, with eggs or no? Just, just a hot dog? Just, just a hot dog and a bread. And bread to brew with it. Okay. Do you put anything on your hot dog? Mustard? No. Just a plain no. hot dog? Nothing. Yeah. Oh, my no, God. No, I mean, they're it's corn dogs. Yeah. But no mustard? Yeah. I'm always craving with these corn dogs every morning. But do you put mustard on it? No. Okay. All right. Well, after we're done, you can have a corn dog, okay? Thank you. All right. <laughs> Shout out to all of our fans. Um... Once again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. And uh, we have gone over 100 subscribers. So thank you to all of our subscribers and all of our viewers and all of the people who leave nice comments, including Daniel, who wants to see more cool hats. Corey, you're going to work on that, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to try to get more cool hats for Daniel. And, sure. why do you, why did, and why do you viewers on, don't view Crom in, in, in the last one? Yeah, Corey would like to see more comments, but make sure that we're leaving them. Uh, more uh, subscribers. Yeah, of course, but it'll come with time, Corey. No potty comments. No potty comments. Keep them clean, um, and uh, and make sure you you sh share it with your friends, and then uh, tell them to subscribe because uh, Corey likes subscribers. He likes comments, and who wouldn't like those things, right, Corey? You right. Okay, and if you want to hear uh, Corey's thoughts on anything, go ahead and leave, leave a comment and let us know, and we'll try our best to get that on here uh, sooner rather than later. It is Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. On this day in 2018, Tom Brady passes Peyton Manning for the most touchdown passes in NFL history. This is total touchdown passes uh, combined between the, the playoffs and the regular season. He passed him. He had 582. Right now, today, as of um, Wednesday, December 9th, 2020, Tom Brady has 642 touchdown passes. That sure is a lot of touchdown passes, isn't it, Corey? Yes, it is. Do you like football? Yeah. No. No. But I like your sports when I do it. Yeah. Thanks, Corey. I appreciate that. All right, quote of the day. You want to read it? No. Okay, the quote of the day is from Robert Jordan. This is another one from a book, Fires, The Fires of Heaven. Uh, but I like this one. It's kind of uh, similar to what we had yesterday about resiliency and perseverance, which is kind of the motto for 2020. Um, the oak fought the wind and was broken. The willow bent when it must and survived. What do you think about that, Corey? I don't know. Oh. Perseverance, well, I think. Yeah, perseverance, right? The oak tree tried to fight against the wind, 
and it broke, right? But then the willow, sometimes you see, if you've seen a willow tree, it bends, right? When the wind blows, it doesn't try to hold up against the wind, it bends a little bit. So even though the oak is the strong, powerful tree, the willow, because it's willing to bend when the wind blows, it survives the, the strong winds. What do you think about that, Corey? I think it's awesome. Yeah, all right. Say, keep looking at the camera, all right? What are you looking at? What are you, are you reading a book or something? My arm. Oh, okay. Sorry. Look, focus on the show, okay? We got a show to do, man. All right, you want to do the health hack? Yes, no, you always do it. All right, but I thought you might want to do it today. All right. No, I'm the Corey's Corner guy. You're, you're, you're this, this guy. Okay, I'm this guy. All right, <laughs> the health hack for today. Eating bananas is a natural cure to reduce the effects of stress and anxiety. What does that you like mean? Stress and anxiety, it's when we get upset or when we, um, we're having trouble with, oh, I got too much work to do or, oh, my life is getting really tough right now. That's, that's sometimes how we get uh, stressed and overwhelmed with our, with our life and the things we got to do every day. Um, so eating bananas can help with that. Do, do you like bananas, Corey? Yes, but I always stress after school. Right. So maybe you have a banana and that'll help. Because mm -hmm. I, I, mean, I don't want you to be stressed, buddy. Mm -hmm. All right, so try, try a banana. Maybe have a banana with your corn dog, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, today's Wacky Wednesday. I really liked this one. I was going to put a picture of Tom Brady. I was going to put a banana or maybe a, a guy in a funny banana suit. But then I, I read Wacky question. Wednesday. What's that? I got a question. Why do they always hold hands? Okay, so we're going we're gonna to learn about that right now, okay? Wacky Wednesday, those are sea otters, right? And sea otters hold hands while they sleep. This ridiculously cute behavior is an effort to avoid floating away from their partner during sleep. Sometimes they hold hands in groups, producing a raft, so, it's, so that they don't uh, float away from their family. Isn't that cute, Corey? Yeah. Look at those, look at those sea otters. You Aren't should, they adorable? Yes, you should put a minion because they love bananas. A minion. Minions love bananas. All right, but I, I like the sea otters. They're, they're pretty darn cute. Look at these two guys. Oh, man. Aren't they cute? Yes. It's like they're posing for a picture. Yes. Can you pose for a picture right now? Can you give me a pose? Strike a pose. I can't. I can't because it's not picture day. Oh, okay. Fine. It's, it's time for a health thing. Yes, it's time for a health hack and Wacky Wednesday, and we're moving on. All right. Uh, you, you do this one, though, right? Self-care reminders. Can you, can you remind everybody what they need to do? Yes, drink a lot of water, eat healthy food, sleep seven, sleep for seven to nine hours, exercise a lot, and wash your hands for COVID-19. Please, wash your hands, wear your mask, use your brain. As always, take care of yourselves. Uh, don't get into a rut. The only difference between a rut and a grave is how deep the hole is. So there you go. Uh, it's time for Corey's Corner, everybody. Here we go. You ready, Corey? Yes. All right, you're going to give us our, your, your top five cookies, okay? So you can tell us about each one of these cookies. Oh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Slow down. All right, the, the number five cookie you said was? Oatmeal raisin. It's oatmeal raisin. That's disgusting. <laughs> but it still made your top five. Okay, you ready to go to number four? Yes. Chocolate chip. Sometimes it make me tired. Chocolate eat. chip cookies make you tired? Yes. Hmm. Or I wonder why. Or chips ahoy. Oh, Number chips ahoy. Number three. M&M's cookies. Their cookies, they're, they're cookies that they really look like chocolate chip cookies, but there's, that's the normal cookie they, they use in the chocolate chip cookie. But... The chocolate chips replace the m and M. I mean, the m and replace the chocolate chips. And those don't make you tired? These make me tired, happily. They, they also make you tired. Okay, good to know. All right, ready for number two? Yeah. Oreos. Yes. Yeah. Oreos are the best cookies I ever have. 
Well, they, okay. I always crave when I found them in restaurants. They call they're called cookies and cream. Yeah, in the ice cream they call it cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. well, I thought, but you said that those are your favorite. But we already had you already told me a different cookie was number one. But hold on, let's let's go back to Oreos. How do you eat your Oreo? You like it in the ice cream with cookies and cream ice cream? Well, sometimes normal without ice cream. And, yeah. So when that. you're eating when you're eating the normal Oreo, how do you eat it? Do you do you open it up and, and eat the 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 inside? I op I I eat the whole thing. You just the eat the whole, whole thing in yeah. one bite? No, in 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 three or five bites. Three to five bites. There you go. That's that's the Corey's Oreo strategy. We could call them Corios. Nothing. There's, and there's number one. Number one. Okay. Snickerdoodle. It's so delicious. Why is it so delicious? Well, because of the dough taste. The taste of the dough. The dough tastes delicious. Snickerdoodle yeah. uh, it was an interesting choice for number one. I'm sure a lot mm -hmm. of people are, that's going to be controversial. People are going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe Snickerdoodles are number one. So can you give us a little bit more reason why it's Snickerdoodles over Oreos and chocolate chips and, and M&Ms and even oatmeal raisin? Well, because because the dough taste, the taste of the dough is the best taste I ever had. Mm -hmm. Do you eat the dough before you make the cookies? I, I don't bake cookies. Oh. But if someone else is baking the cookies, do you eat the cookie dough? No. No, good. Because it, yeah. it has raw eggs in it, and that's, you, you, could get, uh, you could get sick from that. So don't eat the raw dough, people. Right, Corey? Yeah. All right, anything to add? Anything else you want to add about cookies? No. Okay, do you like Christmas cookies? No. Sugar cookies with frosting that look like Christmas trees, no man's in more. Yeah. Okay, you like those. You're my number just... one and a half. Oh, that's number one and a half. Okay, good. All right. I'm sure people will love to hear that. All right. Well, leave a comment with your favorite cookie. If you got, if you, if you think Corey's list is is a little off, then uh, feel free to disagree, but be nice about it, right, Corey? Yeah. All right. Thank you. For the cookie list. All right, coming soon to Corey's Corner. Like uh, we had today, we had the cookie ranking, so that won't be coming soon. That's today. Uh, we'll maybe do Christmas movies next week, maybe some Christmas traditions. Uh, we still got to figure out some workouts, Corey. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, tomorrow is going to be presidents, past, present, and future. Uh, iPhones, maybe. We're going to talk about twins on Friday. And then, uh, Corey, I, I, I didn't uh, show you this yet, but this is my idea for next week because it's something that you had told me about a long time ago. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to stop sharing for just a second. So look at this. Look what I got. Bean boozled. Bean yeah. boozled. So I got the, uh, these, are extreme, these are the extremely hot ones. Okay, yeah. and then I also have these here, these Christmas ones. Yes. Yeah. And then I just have some regular ones, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe I can get another teacher to come in here and, uh, and try it with me. But boy, I, don't really, I really don't wanna have a rotten egg jelly bean. That sounds gross. Well, what kind of points do you want? I don't know. What kind of what? What kind of twins do you want to do? Twins? Oh, well, well you tell me. What do you want to do tomorrow? Little Miss Friday? Twins. Hmm? Little Miss Twins. Little Miss Twins. I, sh I show you. Okay, we're done. Oh, no, no, we're done. I'm done. We're Sorry. not yet. Sorry. We're not done yet. Hold on. Hold on, my friend. All right. So we'll do Bean Boozled sometime next week. I'll see if I can maybe get another teacher to come in. We might make a separate video outside of the do, the distance day stuff to do um, so that another teacher can come join me and I can make them eat the gross jelly beans and hopefully I get the yummy ones. Okay, Corey? What about the Cooking Corey show? Can you put the other person as a guest star? Yeah, we'll have we'll bring a guest on to the Coach and Corey show. 
Uh, and if you have any suggestions for Corey's Corner that you'd like to hear about, uh, Corey's thoughts on anything, really anything under the sun, please leave those in the comments, right, Corey? Yeah. Okay. And Corey and I are going to talk about some ideas. Uh, oh, oh, one, one moment, viewers. Leave some comments. Which twins do you want from TV? Which twin? Leave some comments. Okay. okay leave some comments. Tell tell everybody again because my voice is is so gibberish. Tell oh. everybody. <laughs> Your voice is not gibberish, buddy. Please, just one time. Okay. So you, you Corey wants to leave. Uh, you leave uh, twins from TV in the comments. If you can think name of, uh, hmm? name them, name, name twins that you've seen on TV in the comments and, uh, and we'll, we'll maybe kid talk friendly, about them. Kid, kid friendly and animated kid friendly kids, shows. Can, can you think of twins who are kids friendly and animated and, uh, leave those in the comments if you would, please. And we'll talk about that on Friday. Okay. Yeah. All right. Corey, tell them what, what to do, okay? Like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Keep it clean. Please. Is, please. Yeah. Anything else to add? Ha Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, this has been the Coach and Corey Show. I'm Coach. I'm Corey. And we are signing off. Make it a great day, night. Take care of yourself care of and your those around you. All right, Corey. Be nice. Wash your hands. And don't forget to be awesome, Knight. Goodbye, Knight. Good job, Corey. Um, we're going to keep talking, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow on the Coach and Corey Show. Anything else to say, Corey? Nothing. Okay. Bye-bye.